Um, yeah, so this Great. is the point. We wanted to uh, ask you about uh, this uh, film uh, that, uh, of course, uh, Kevin Sorbo is involved with. I am aware of Kevin Sorbo's work. He was uh, Tarzan, I believe. And no, he was Hercules. Hercules. Oh, all right. Well, never mind. Maybe it was Tarzan, too, but Hercules is... He was one of those. I just, I just remember, like, ads with him with no shirt on. That's what I, I that seemed to uh, yeah. resonate. Yeah, you, you remember the feeling you got when you gazed upon his body. Exactly, exactly. And um, he is um, like uh, like uh, my old friend Ross Broccoli, uh, now uh, doing uh, religious-based uh, uh, film work. Um, and, um, he is? Ross Broccoli did like a couple of Mormon uh, bankrolled movies, and then I think they figured out who he was, and then they stopped doing oh, it. Oh, okay. But... Um, okay. Uh, so this is a, I think, a, is this a Christian movie? Like, yeah, I think definitely that there's going to be he, some Christian elements to it. He's a, uh, a uh, but it's Kevin it's a Thorpe it's a right wing yeah. movie, and it it's sort of, I guess, like I don't know. I guess it's the right the right version of like a Handmaid's Tale in a way. Or I think people are calling okay. it the Antifa Red Dawn, right? Or the Antifa Red Dawn, <laughs> where the country is uh, taken over by Antifa. And, um, and of course, um, you know, if you carry an American flag in America, then you're in big trouble. Now they're attacking the second amendment. Yeah. They're attacking the second amendment and you've never seen Uh more guns in how long is this thing? This is the trailer. All those anti-gun anarchists out there. Right. There's a ton of anti-gun anarchists, but they're taking away the guns and the, I've never, I don't think I've ever even seen like, I don't even think I've seen um, previews of a war movie that have more guns than this one, but here. <laughs> the National Guard and local responders are overwhelmed in the bigger metropolitan areas. Maybe we're overreacting just. That was in our neighborhood. Get everyone in the car. Pause it, hold it. So we should just tell you that, the, you know, it's a family in a suburban area and the, and wink, the wife. Wink. And the wife is basically just saying to right. Kevin Sorbo, like, Super white. maybe we're overreacting. And then Deus Ex Machina, the gunshots in the suburbs. We're in trouble. Let's get mobilized. Go. They're coming for our lake house. Just, that was in our neighborhood. Get everyone in the car. Catch my office now. It's the liberal. Old town's on fire. The police are retreating. We have prepared for this. We will survive. The world is falling apart. The Second Amendment is under attack. Guys are driving motorcycles through windows. Family dream. Three meals a day. It's over. It's adapt or die. What would you do? Phones are on timeout is what I would do. You guys go, go, stay alone. If your family was attacked. Get in the car, Myla. The guy's got a sword? When guns are outlawed. The guns are bad for my psoriasis. Only outlaws will have guns. You guys already invited to the social security meeting group. The Reliant. Protect family and faith. I read, I read Handyman magazine. Get away! I read every man. Wait, am I part Ow. of the? Uh, am I part of the the uh, the rebellion or the? What, what part of? What? Oh no, you. You're would, an innocent victim. You're, you're an innocent, innocent victim. victim. I'm just a victim in this. <laughs> you're I just a victim. Like, I just am one of the guys. I, I promote Andy on my trip. podcast. No. Um, yeah, at the beginning, you're assuring them that there's actually nothing to worry about. Yeah, and then you you're get killed by you're oh, the see, first. Okay. Exactly. You're like everybody needs to calm down because <laughs> you're all listening to this right wing garbage. And I was talking with Janine about this 15 years ago, and then all of a sudden, Andy fucking <laughs> loves <laughs> you. <laughs> This is what the this yeah. is from IMDb. And then a exactly good right. Christian family has to save your kid. IMDb. That's right. It raised it raised them as a Christian raised, killed raised them as Christian. <laughs> I hope you guys realize this movie is this movie is basically porn for me. Uh, Matthew, let's write this like pr- like immediately as soon as you get back. Just be careful uh, yeah, when right. when Michael says let's write this. He uh, said <laughs> Matthew. <laughs> Pre-prepared. I, I, he I, said, uh, to write accept, this and put a, my name first on the this, script. Accept but wait, here's from IMDb. My, well, alphabetical order. A 19-year-old ni- woman 
cares for her sibling after an econometric collapse leads to widespread <laughs> violence. And then, and this is and econometric. Then, yeah, and then, there's no so, such thing as an econometric collapse. I was talking with somebody at the Center for American. Ow! <laughs> IMDB says the economic collapse causes widespread rioting oh, and sick. social unrest, leaving a lovesick 19-year-old girl struggling to care for her siblings oh. in a stretch of woods bordered by lawless anarchy. Oh God, it sounds wondering so good. why a good God. So it's outside Portland. Like, what is this? this why, is... why a good God would let this happen? When is this movie out, and where can I see it? Uh, I would I'm, imagine... I'm shocked at the production values. Really, I mean, it is there. There is not. Filmed in Ohio. Yeah, these people have money behind them always. Filmed in Ohio, buddy. Uh, I mean, that's it's like, hey, listen, this is an independent film. So it's like the dark side of the kind of democratization of the Hollywood studio system. Like you got a bad idea and enough money behind it. You can make a movie with Kevin Sorbo that looks like, you know, a million bucks. If uh, you happen to be um, and I, I, I don't know where this is, actually, but on August 3rd. Oh, it, it, it premiered August 3rd. At the Great Lakes it. Christian Film Festival. Do you go to that uh, film festival on, on your film festival no. tour? No, that is I. I've stopped putting that on my circuit. Oh, that's in Buffalo, New York. So I mean, it's it's yeah almost local. No, it burns my it burns my skin when I walk into that festival, so I can't go. Uh, I um and now I I got n no problem with the uh, Christian Film Festival circuit as um uh, who's the caboose basically. Uh, got yeah. stumbled into the Jew. Jewish film festival circuit I and that. played all around the country. It was fantastic, actually. Thank uh, you very much. <laughs> I was just talking with Digby about this on my show the other day. It's nothing to worry up. Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> That was uh, on Ring of Fire, which you could download. Actually, that's also on the Majority Report app. Ow! Yeah. There you go. Um, He's like the mayor in uh, in Ghostbusters. He's like, shut it down. We don't. He's the care. mayor. He's also the mayor in Red Dawn. That's Except true. the mayor in Red Dawn gonna, lasts for a couple it. of cycles. Last, yeah, he becomes right. the willing collaborator. There's apparently some very other good uh, good movies at that festival. So maybe Sam would be like uh, the mayor with the at the Great Lakes head. Christian Film Festival. Here's the 2019 uh, schedule uh, in the Kennedy Room and the McKinley Room. Wait a second. Uh, okay. Oh, all right. There's a lot of praise and worship that goes on. That did not happen at the Jewish Film Festival. Oh, we missed it. Um, there's the Miracles from the Killing Fields, uh, 10 a.m. Uh, saved, Escape from Kim's Regime, Dinosaur Heart, Finding a Home in Boomtown, The People of the Heavenly Kingdom, uh, Liberating Fire, Broken Unbroken, Betty Williams, <laughs> Contagious Courage, Warriors to Lords. It's amazing. Like so much Warriors of this is like Lord. these are all sort of a, a, a like love possibly. There is <laughs> Matt, but but the point is is like there's only a couple of things that the rest of them are life sort of the, like life on the island of Jesus. Yeah. Oh my Welcome God. to Jesus Island. Only one person will be saved. <laughs> to, to tie the knot Only or not, I think I know what the moral of that story is. A lot of you be. guys want to live in eternity with me, and I wish I could take that, all of you, but it's only going to be one. I Jesus Island. I cannot believe that I missed this, but I will be going next year with the help of some plants and chemicals. I am so stoked to have you all on Jesus Island. Unfortunately, only one of you can stay. Who's going to meet St. Peter? Who's going to meet St. Peter? Like, what the hell, man? Why did no one tell us about this? Tom, it's been really awesome having Listen. you on the island. You have good energy and are a good person. But oh, unfortunately, you're going to Sam, hell. Sam, let's go to the industry panel. That uh, that would be actually pretty fun to go. But I, you know what? There is a huge... The, the fact of the matter is, there is a huge Christian film industry. Um, yeah. and also, yeah. you know, not just film, but also, um, radio and there's a whole, you know, sort of like, um, another parallel media. And on some level that's like, you know, Fox, uh, and conservative media has followed this sort of same, um, uh, business model, which is like, you can have a thriving, 
uh, industry that yeah. exists, and it, it's just simply um, creates another narrative. The difference is, of course, when people watch Fox, they don't realize that they're involved in, you know, sort of some type of alt media as yeah. much yeah, as yeah, overtly you know, alternative, right? Um, but, but so the, the righteous the gemstones, of the very funny, by of, the way. Uh, distribution systems. Yeah, it, it is the downside of it uh, in that some people become, you know, can get squirreled off. The problem is, it's not even so much the, uh, the, the problem with the fragmentation as much as the, when one of these fragments gets too big. <laughs> like, I think if, you know, everything was small, uh, it would be better. Uh, in I that. mean, how big is it though, really? I mean, compared to like you know mainstream Hollywood movies, is, you know, is it even as big as what plays at like Sundance or? Oh uh, no, you know, I was talking and, about. And... I was talking about uh, in terms of like the news, but the, uh, I, I would be very surprised if this industry was not a huge, huge industry. I don't know. They, they all, you know, they all listen to Striper and Creed and and watch these Jesus Island movies, I guess, uh, you know, it's a niche, just like if you're a horror fan, you go to the horror convention or the, you know, specific, right. uh, genre. It's a genre. It's just a genre with a, maybe a, maybe a well, overall but, detrimental but that's political message. I don't think it's a genre. I think it's an industry. Like, I, 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 like in that it's a, it's, I think it's an, an industry of and to itself. You know, horror is a genre within sure. the film industry, but the mechanics of the industry are the same. And the, you know, this, I think, is its own thing apart. I mean, that was my sort of uh, understanding, you know, in the, in the radio business, you could see that as well, that there was like, yeah, there were there were different rules as to who the audience was and their behavior was going to be different. And therefore, the the way that they they finance these things are going to be different and the way that they recoup and make money off it is going to be different. Um, you're saying, you're saying the people behind these, they're just making Christian movies. They're not yeah. next week making a, right. a romance movie right. or a, a kids in jail movie. They're exactly. only Christian. Yeah. Exactly. Fade in. 